Lockdown's been a suboptimal time for, uh, for adventuring and for those that are still in lockdown, I feel your pain. Hopefully these uh, first few episodes really entertain you guys and, uh, and you'll be released from lockdown soon. So winter's finished, spring has sprung, the flowers are out, the bees are buzzing. It's normally the ideal time of year to get out onto the rail trail. Hey, <laughs> uh, the rail trail is one of the best ways to see the region. And unfortunately also this time of year, the nemesis of the rail trail rider is also out and that's the magpie. So we put the call out to our local community to find out where we could find some sleeping magpies. Thanks family, this one's for you mate. And this week, I'm gonna test you out what the best thing is to wear while riding your bike to avoid being swooped. First up is the classic cable tie helmet. It seems to be uh, a favorite. You see a lot of people getting around on these. So, uh, see how it goes. Feels like your helmet's twice the size as it usually is, especially with this many on it. <laughs> Can't really see my shadow going this way. Oh, oh there you go. It wasn't long before the two magpies that were chasing me down. The cable tie helmet didn't really make much of a difference except making it harder for them to reach my face. <laughs> Still going. You feel kind of safe though, wearing the, uh, wearing the cable ties on the head. Hey, hello. Oh, there's two of them. Just in case you're wondering why we're that filming here instead of some classic stretch of rail okay, trail. Hey there, how are you? Well, we did try a bunch of other locations. I think there's one along here. But these were the only two magpies who wanted to be on camera. Where are you? Such a beautiful spot. Mount Buffalo Gorge in the background. Look at these poor girls getting swept. <laughs> so a lot of people say that you need eyes at the back of your head. Um, so we've gone a level up and tried to make the scariest thing possible. <laughs> Um, hopefully this works. I don't know if it's actually going to do anything, but we'll see if they still suit me from behind or if they suit me from in front. Oh, here we go. Ah! <laughs> the eyes at the back of the head. Isn't that a scary enough face? Looking back at the footage in slow motion, it looks like the magpies pull up at the last minute when they see my face looking at them from the back. Pretty scary, I guess. I know magpies get a bad rep, but they're only trying to protect their young. So I'm not too concerned about them swooping, especially with a helmet on and also knowing that they only swoop for a couple of weeks of the year. So the eyes at the back of the head doesn't seem to really help. We also tested out a few other MDTs or magpie deterrent theories, like walking your bike past them, which seemed to work for me. Skateboarding. Here he comes. Ah! Failed. And even riding my trusty unicycle didn't seem to impress them. Oh, here we go. Ah! Never been slooped on a unicycle before. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> so the last thing we wanted to test ah! is whether or not magpies would soup a fellow feathered friend. And you're not gonna believe it, but when I was dressed up as a duck, I couldn't get them to swoop. They were literally just sitting in the tree watching me, feeling content knowing that they'd made yet another human get dressed in a silly outfit or put something weird on their head. Maybe this is what you need to do to avoid being swooped by a magpie. I hope everyone gets out of lockdown soon, but the message from this adventure is, whether you're cycling around home or up here on the beautiful rail trails, It'd be a shame to miss out this time of year because of some magpies. I've made my choice.